So I'm the Director of Engineering at the Bristol Port Company, and we've got a team of 100 vocational engineers in the department, and we are responsible for keeping the port running 24-7, 365 days a year. The cranes, the conveyors, and over 200 pieces of vehicles and plant vehicles, because uh, the most important thing is that when a ship comes in, that we are able to unload it quickly and efficiently. A typical month, we can see as many as 100 to 150 uh, vessels coming in and out. Generally, we're seeing vessels turnover three or four times a day. Uh, so, and it's all dependent on the tides. For almost 10 weeks now, we've been doing a trial with uh, XR Sense. And for me, this was seeking out some technology uh, that could, uh, within the engineering department, try and make it more efficient. And if I'm to use one example, so when I'm sending the boys and girls forward to either a point of breakdown, or a point of planned maintenance, how can we better arm them with the resources they're gonna to need to establish the root cause and fix that asset and get it back online? And through XR Sense, I'm better able to coordinate and allow the engineers to communicate with one another, to access information that, that can be preloaded into the system and via the head-up display communicated to them. And by doing this, we are sending an engineer out once and once only to fix a problem and getting that asset back online uh, before we are seeing delays in our business. So I think through the trial, as it's developed, there's been some interesting offshoots. Uh, one in particular was the thermal imaging camera uh, that came with the system. Uh, one challenge we have within the port is our equipment and the telltale signs that things are going wrong. Now, very often they are invisible to the, to the human eye, um, but if I'm to use an example of bearings that go with conveyor belts, uh, if a bearing is starting to go wrong, it will generate heat. So through the FLIR camera that we've had with XR Sense, I'm able to send engineers out and they can spot a tell telltale temperature differentiation. And that is the first stage in understanding a component that's starting to go wrong. By doing this, we can intervene, replace the component before not only it fails, but it fails catastrophically and potentially damages other component parts around it. So that's been a real benefit that we've seen through the trial. The one thing we would uh, like to carry on doing is the integration with the enterprise asset management system that we have. We have a very good system where we're able to understand our, uh, our environment and what needs to be maintained. Uh, but this actually puts that information into the engineer's headset so they're able to be more efficient with their work. For example, when they get to a part of the port, they can know all the jobs that are needing to do at that point through the system uh, that shows through geolocation other work that needs doing in that area. We are very proud of the fact we have a long established apprenticeship program. It actually starts before that with work experience that we offer to uh, local schools as well as T-level placements. But what we are seeing is this generation that are coming through, a real ambition to be able to use the latest technology. So we're trying to be the most competitive employer out there. So through XR Sense, we're able to demonstrate that we are embracing the latest technology uh, the unfortunate fact is there are not not enough engineers in the United Kingdom at the moment. And while STEM initiatives and other similar ones are growing, the engineers, the hard facts are it's hard to recruit and hard to retain. But as an employer that is forward looking and embracing uh, technology such as XR Sense, I think we are a more attractive uh, uh, employer and hopefully we'll be able to attract the best talent that's out there.